we're diving back into our hunt for rare gold gators today, and the pun is absolutely intended. But uh, we're running with the same loadout that we went with last weekend. We've got the 454 as our kind of main close range weapon, still running with the muzzleloader and the 303 for anything long range. And we have the 22H, should we run into a fox or a rabbit, turkey, anything like that that we may want to take along the way. And hopefully we can kind of continue this trend. We've had two gator hunts in a row with rares. Maybe the third time's a charm, but we can get a big enough one. So just for the sake of kind of getting practice with this, we haven't fired the 454 since last week. I wanted to kind of get in close and basically take what I would say is the shot that I'd like to, should we find another rare or level nine or anything like that. I did remember to properly equip the, uh, I forget what they're called, but the, the bullets with the less penetration. I'm not gonna lie, he went further than I thought with just one hit. I still don't think he would have escaped, but that second shot's pretty relevant. So the question is, you know, in that particular scenario, do we save it for a follow up like that that kind of ensures that we get a good lung shot and bring him down in time? Or do we kind of do what we did with the pie ball last week and sort of rush that second lung shot in there just to confirm that it has as long as possible to, you know, lose its health and hopefully get down to zero before it gets into the deep water. I'm not sure what the right move is, but any of these scenarios, especially, you know, going to a kind of newer loadout or a newer strategy for taking the shots, I think it's important to get those practice uh, shots in and just learn what the different scenarios do. It's the same reason that I tend to grind with the proper ethical weapons for any animal when I'm grinding for a diamond or a great one. Just so, you know, should that diamond or great one offer some kind of weird shot, I usually already know from maybe thousands of previous shots what kind of works and what doesn't, and I think that applies here too. I mean, if he's gonna run right by us, literally right by us, well, we can try to get this blonde raccoon. The first shot wasn't good. We finally got him there on that third one. Another level three there as well. It's kind of interesting. This guy ended up being a gold. Kind of, I guess maybe it was just a perfect scenario. I'm surprised the 22H soft point bullets did that good a job, but we go through here fairly often. It's one of my favorite spots, kind of running through this area, center of Mississippi Acres, and going up and around. A lot of times, it's gators that do that. Because they're trying to flee towards deep water, they'll end up running towards you more often than away from you in this particular area. But I can't think of one time I've ever had raccoons do it, but... We'll take the bonus kill. Well, this time we've got the guarantee. It's max weight estimate, level seven. I think maybe the pie ball variation that the female gator we shot was. And we're in a good spot. This is, I would maybe call it a perfect spot. They just about cannot escape from here. And all we need to do is wait for him to, I assume, go back to resting or even something like that and just get a shot in his lungs. Of course, right as we get the muzzle letter out, he's going to start walking again. The only thing I'm afraid of is if he gets into the water. So with the, with the broadside kind of walking there, I'm going to go ahead and get a lung shot in. And he is dropping. We're going to hold the 303 in case, but I, I can't see him going anywhere. He's dropping really fast. I can't believe it. I mean, we're 46 minutes into recording and like I said, it's a guarantee. And you know, I didn't even pay attention to the score estimate. I think gators for some strange reason are like antlered animals in that they score at the top end of their score estimate. So 416 or something, I think it said, look at that. That's so cool. I love the, the the stripe variant. This one's probably my second favorite, but let's get him picked up. He's 429. Clearly I misread the estimate. Let's tax him so nothing crazy happens. I don't even know what to do. I can't. Three hunts in a row, three piebald gators, this time a gold. Technically, I did want two, 
for what we're doing with the Trophy Lodge. I just can't believe we got one so quickly. It's one of those situations, and I'll kind of pull back the curtain a little bit in the, uh, you know, weekly schedule. So I record, this will be Sunday's video, I record that on Fridays before the live stream. And I got a fairly early start today with the idea that I was just going to grind kind of, you know, maybe three and a half, four hours on Mississippi and try to get the, get, at least get a rare or a diamond or something. I've still got two hours. I guess we'll, we'll keep on going. Let's go back to the lodge though. I do want to show, well, should we stay on this server? I think we can get back here. Let's, let's go back to the lodge. I want to show like what the, the plan is. So I've talked about it a couple of times, but it's this area here where the two black bucks are. And these are legacy horns black buck. This one is a gold. I had always wanted to get a gold leucistic and gold melanistic with true axe up here. And then I realized you can actually put gators on these plaques. And I do quite like the over the doorway uh, alligator. I just think it works really well for the plaques. The only thing I'm not certain is with the elk there, maybe more like that might kind of work. And maybe what we'll do eventually is swap out the elk somewhere for a diamond moose. I kind of think a forward facing thing there could work, but this has been the goal all along. Now we need one to match it though. Of course, we can't just have one. We're going to have to go and find another one, but yeah, we'll try to get back on that same server. Sometimes it just seems like luck works that way. And I'm sure we'll end up switching at some point as well. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of weird continuing to hunt something that we did sort of just accomplish the goal for. Like, the ultimate goal is to get two of them. But I feel like any time that this happens in a video where, you know, we're looking for a particular diamond or a rare or, or maybe doing a grind of some kind and we end up getting it early on, normally we kind of switch gears and go and hunt something else. But... Because we're after another, I feel like we kind of need to continue hunting them, but going for another longer shot here. Hopefully it's going to be two vital hits. I think it should be. There's no point running over there because if he does go down, he's going to end up floating to us. I think there should be plenty of time. He's just about to go down. As long as he doesn't disappear and he is going to end up floating over here, but... We're at an interesting time here. It is 15-ish real minutes from Gray Fox drink time, and we've suddenly had pretty decent luck with him. Of course, we had the Piebald Diamond uh, back in December. That's still kind of our crown jewel of Gray Fox achievements, but we killed the two diamonds in single player the last two times that we streamed this map, and uh, I don't know. It's getting to be the time to hunt them. I'd love to get a Leucistic one, so maybe... We'll take a little bit of a break from chasing gators here shortly and go and look for them. In the meantime, the rate this gator's floating over, it might be Grey Fox drink time before we get him. Well, this could be a different problem. He's kind of stuck. I don't know if we can wait out quite that far. We're definitely going to get really, really close. If it'll just let us get close enough, we can maybe get him. There we go. All right, 397. A good bit smaller, actually. I guess it would be to be expected. It wasn't the max weight estimate like our piebald. Lung with the muzzleloader. Liver with the 303. I feel like that goes to show just some degree of luck with our piebald. It was that one muzzleloader shot, and it was dropping really quickly compared to two there. And it still took some time. So admittedly... I may have been not considering situations such as this when I grabbed the 22H today. I genuinely don't even know what the bullet drop is like. I'm, I'm going to treat it kind of like a normal rifle and just hope this kind of drops into a lung. It certainly hit it. I mean, when you look at a fox, if you hit a shot like that, there's almost no way to not get a lung. However, I don't see it going down. Now, what really could be the range causing that, I I don't know. I want to make sure that it isn't dropping somewhere. I can't believe we can't even see it anymore. That's it there. All right. So, just for the heck of it, because I don't know a lot about the 22H. 
we're gonna hit that with a 303. I thought for a second we missed that shot. I just want to go and find out if that was a long shot, because if we're gonna hunt some of these lakes down here in the southeast, we might need to go and grab the 243. They're big lakes, having to get around them and maneuver around some of the obstacles and stuff, we're probably better off having more range, but there's a chance that shot just didn't even hit where it could have gotten along. So an opportunity to maybe learn something here. We were a bit low. It feels doable. We'll have to aim a little bit higher or get a bit closer, but I say, especially because Gray Fox don't drink for that long, we're just going to run with the 22 h and, and hope that if we do find something special, we can get a little bit closer. So unfortunately, a game crash kind of derailed that idea. Only got to shoot the one fox, and then we are back to gators, but we're on another server. Maybe we can find another rare, or a diamond or anything like that, but who knows? Maybe we can complete the entire thing today. As for now, though, it is... I don't know what that shot was. It must have been a heart or something, because he is going to basically insta-drop. But it's not quite 9 o'clock. It, it's basically there, but I wanted to come over here and check this spot. It is where we shot the 5 alt female gator like a week ago. And in my experience, a lot of times gators don't really get out of the water and rest till a little bit after 9. This area, a lot of the, the water is shallow. And I thought we may be able to encounter some before we go and check some of the main spots. And with a decent level 6 there, we might as well take that as we are kind of just passing time. Turns out getting here was a little more difficult than anticipated. That was a spinal cord shot, along with double lung. I thought we were lower than that, but either way, it got the job done. But uh, I guess you can't cross in here anywhere. So I went all the way up and around, and it is now past 9.30. So hopefully we can check some of the other areas. Maybe we'll go back to where we got our piebald earlier and see if this server has anything to offer. It may just be a level 5, but... I've really felt as though we have not gotten much use out of the 454 today. So I'd like to try to at least this, get this guy with it since we are close. I think it was between those two trees now that we can't spot it. And that is kind of the, the difficult part of getting close to the gators. It sort of limits your vision. They just, because the grass renders in, they just become so much less visible and... I really have no idea if that got a lung. I'm not 100% sure it even hit him. Uh, that most certainly did. I I'm going to guess it didn't. And hopefully those two shots are going to be enough to bring him down. I've got to say, my experience with the piebald gator a week ago was quite good using the 454 uh, hollow points. Unless I have the wrong ones. And these are correct. It's the 100 expansion 25 penetration. It still did enough to bring him down, but I don't know. Not as good as I remember it being. Maybe it was the angle. That lung invertebrate is definitely not ideal. At least it did get him, but I'd like to see it be a little bit faster than that. Maybe in a more ideal scenario uh, where we're not shooting on the run, it would be better. It's been weirdly dead in this server in terms of alligators, and... There is some hunting pressure around like a lot of the, the normal alligator spots. And my best guess is that maybe it's been hunted and weird stuff happens in multiplayer. It could be that there's a bunch of gators that are just submerged and not uh, coming back up to the surface. I'm not really sure what the deal is, but as I mentioned, these videos are recorded uh, prior to the Friday live stream. So as kind of a last minute thing, we are just going to jump over here in the middle of the fields and see if we can get something else to wrap up with. I mean, I guess that works about as well as anything. Perhaps an easier shot to make than the one earlier when it was running right past us. And who knows, maybe that'll be a gold to wrap up, but we are actually going to go back to the Trophy Lodge again to kind of take maybe a closer look at our Piebald Gator from the beginning of the hunt. I still can't believe that we ended up getting one of that size. 429.2 Piebald is really, really solid. I was thinking as well as we're running around, I maybe a moose will fit. A moose might be a little bit big, it might kind of cover a bit of where the gators would be. 
We'll have to see though. Maybe if we can get another one to match, we'll put something else there instead. For now, we'll kind of leave it as is till we see what it looks like, but I'm amazed at the way that went down. I mean, I think it was our third kill and one of them wasn't a gator, if I remember right. I can't even remember what it was, but I'm pretty sure that was the way that it all played out and I, I've talked about it. I think with gators and in regards to the albino grizzly grind as well, it's really, really nice when that rare finally shows up and it's a guaranteed gold and you don't have to have the stress of like, not only making the shot and making sure you get it, but also is this even going to be, you know, the, the gold medal that we're looking for, but that's really cool. I'm really happy to have one of those rares that we've been after. That's been killing me for a long time. Let's see what the, the Melanistic Black Bug is. That was the second of the two from when I had the Leucistic and Melanistic. April 8th of 2020, so two plus years. I've been trying to get something better here. It's really, really nice to have that gator there and feel like we're making progress. And uh, I don't know, maybe next week we come back, maybe we can get the matching one and that'll be one more thing off the list. But anyway, that is gonna do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.